Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with the radically redesigned solid suitcase by Rhino Shield for iPhone 10. So Rhino Shield is known for its super protective lightweight cases, and the solid suit is no exception. This offers 11 feet of drop protection. It's thin and lightweight, and all that has a really nice feel in the hand. It also comes in an almost dizzying array of finish options. This is the carbon fiber look. We also have various print options, plain options, real wood options. There is also a leather and a microfiber option in the pipeline, so lots of really cool looks. This is also compatible with Rhino Shield's add-on photographic lenses, and you can even switch out the buttons for cool colored buttons if that is your thing. So lots to love about this case. Let's look at the solid suit in a little bit more detail on my iPhone 10 in space gray. Taking a quick look at the base solid suit case in black, we have a hard, smooth material on the exterior. Not terribly grippy, but not super slippery either, which is nice. On the interior, we have this honeycomb pattern. This is part of their protective strategy. It is also, of course, made from special polymers, which will give it this 11 feet of drop protection, which is so impressive. However, one nice thing about the construction of this is that this is made of BPA-free plastics. They are food grade so you don't need to worry about nasty contaminants leaching into you from your phone case. So that is a nice thing. So this black is one of the base colors that is available. This is a $29.99 case. It's also available in, I think this is called cloud gray, and then we have a white color. There are also obviously patterns and different materials available, but of course those all are going to cost more. But if you want just their basic case, this is what these look like. One of my favorite finishes in the solid suit lineup is their carbon fiber finish. This is a faux carbon fiber. It's just a patterned, uh, slightly textured plastic on the back, but it has a really nice look to it. And given that carbon fiber itself tends to cause all kinds of signal interference, it's probably a good thing we're not using real carbon fiber in this case. Putting your phone in here is pretty straightforward. Simply just put the one side in and then slide the other corners on. Once on, we have a really nice tight fit on here. The sides all fit very nicely on here. The top and bottom are also nice and tight. There's absolutely no issues whatsoever with the fit of this case. I really like it. So looking here at the amount of lip we have on here, we have a good amount of protective lip around the screen. I do currently have a tempered glass screen protector on here. Works really well. This is the one that they put on in the Apple store, the one that's the Belkin one with the little machine that they put it on with. Everything works really well with that nice fit here. Here. So looking here at the bottom, we've got nicely arranged port openings, plenty generous for third-party lightning cables. Of course, this case does support wireless charging, so no problem there. And everything else is very nicely arrayed here. We do have a spot here for a wrist strap or lanyard if you happen to have one of your own. This is not included with the case. However, it's a nice option to have. So our buttons are absolutely outstanding, really nice um, um, these don't have any kind of a rattle to them. With the mod, the buttons had a little bit of a rattle to them with the original versions of the mod that's now been fixed, actually. But this works really well. Very nice clicky buttons. And, of course, you can switch out the color, which is fun. So that's another option with this case. No issues with the mute switch opening. This is nice and easy to access. And going over here to our side button, total pleasure to press. Everything works really well. Got some Rhino Shield brand down here on the bottom. Looking at the back of the case, I think that the faux carbon fiber finish that we have on here looks really nice. It has a nice, very slightly textured feel, which gives you just that little bit more amount of grip. We also have plenty of protection here for the protruding camera. Everything is good there. And as I mentioned, this does support wireless charging, so no problems there. This case is also really quite fingerprint resistant as well as smudge resistant. So that is a nice thing. And there is just a very subtle amount of a rim that 
goes around the edges here. It's very slight, but the result is that the pattern on the back does not tend to actually hit a flat surface if you lay it down flat. There's just a very, very tiny amount of space in between the middle of the back and the surface that it's laid on. So I think that this helps protect it against um, smudges and smears as well. And this is particularly helpful for the painted designs as well as any other designs such as the carbon fiber look that we have here. So overall, this is a good design by Rhino Shield. Removing your phone from the solid suitcase is relatively straightforward. It's best done from the bottom. You want to start in the one corner and pry it off and then pry off the one that is adjacent to it and then the whole thing will slip off really pretty easily. This is a relatively tight fitting case but it's not too difficult to get off. Another of the interesting finish options available with the Solid Suit lineup are their wood cases. Unlike the carbon fiber finish we just looked at, these are genuine wood, at least just on the back. I mean, the sides and the interior are just your standard Solid Suit cases, and then there is a thin piece of genuine wood that is put into the back section of the case. These have a really nice look to them. Got just a little bit more interesting texture with the fact that you've got the wood on the back, and because it is real wood. These are all very slightly different from one another because you have little uh, different wood grain patterns. There are three types of wood available. We have two of them here and I think that the third one is still in the coming soon option. So there's two that have black sides and then there's one, this lighter wood here, that has white sides. So these are also a really nice option. So they are basically the same as the other cases. Simply just slide them in and click everything on. Looking at the fit, we're looking at the same thing we just looked at before. Still really nice amount of lip on here. Works well with a tempered glass screen protector. Good port openings. Got our option here for a lanyard or wrist strap and excellent buttons. So not a whole lot to say about this, just everything looks really good and I think that it's a fun option. And then when you look at the back, again, we have this really nice organic looking wood, has a very nice fresh look and feel to it. And of course the wood is not going to show fingerprints or smears or anything like that. And we do have the same uh, little bit of a rim that runs around the edges here, very, very slight, but enough to keep the wood slightly protected in comparison with the sides of the case so that it does not necessarily hit a flat surface if you uh, put your phone down on its back. So that is a nice thing. One thing about the wood though is that it is very slightly more delicate than I think your standard solid suit case because the wood is not going to flex as easily as a polymer. So you have to be just a little bit more careful when you're putting uh, this on and off your phone. But other than that, everything just looks really great with this case option. You do pay $10 more for the wood, but I think it has a really nice look to it. Finally, one thing which is really fun to do with the Solid Suit lineup is to go with one of their special pattern designs on the back. So these are your standard white, black, or gray cases that I showed you before, but you get to choose a pattern that will go on the back. So this one here is some sort of dove pattern. It's basically just a printed on pattern, but just has a really nice look, little splash of color, and everything looks really good good with it. I'm particularly fond of this one here. This is like some sort of kitty cat print on here. I think this looks really cool on the black and again very fingerprint resistant and smudge resistant. This is just a really nice durable case finish. This particular one here I decided to put uh, the different colored buttons. This is an option that you can choose for $2.99. You can choose a set of four additional colored buttons. I think that there are 12 button colors available that you can choose from. I thought that this was a really Nice little splash of color here on the side, which matched the cat prints on the back. In this particular one, I also chose to put a wrist strap on here. This is one that I had lying around the house. Um, I find that I really do like having a wrist strap attached with this. Let's put the phone in so I can show you how that looks. Going with the wrist strap thing, once it's attached on, you just put the case on the same way you would ordinarily would, and it really fits on quite nicely here. Does not actually change the fit of the case on your phone at all. 
So looking here at this particular version here, again, exactly the same fit that we were looking at before. These are all the same. I do like these different colored buttons that we can put on here. I think they have a really cool look. Everything looks just very, very nice with this. Go into the back. You have a little bit of texture with this type of case because you can feel the uh, paint as it's painted on here. So each of these little kitty cat prints here do give a little bit of texture to your fingers, which is kind of fun to touch. But as I mentioned before, I think that they're going to hold up pretty well because of this very, very slight rim that we have that runs around here, which means that these are not necessarily going to contact all surfaces. Overall, I found that this particular finish is really quite durable and has stayed looking really great on this phone case. If you do decide to spring for the extra $2.99 and want to switch out your buttons, this is actually quite easy to do. Simply press in the buttons that come with it once your phone is out. Just press them in and then take whichever buttons it is that you purchased. Let's go with black here so we can kind of have a white and black look here. And then going from the inside, simply just press them into place. and then you're good to go. So I think that's a kind of a cool look as well with the black buttons on the white and black case. Finally, as I mentioned in the beginning, the solid suit case lineup is compatible with Rhino Shield's add-on lenses. To get this to work, you need to purchase, first of all, this little adapter thing, which will make this case work with the add-on lenses. If, for example, you had an 8 Plus, then you would need a different type of a lens adapter. Uh, this one is specific for particular phone models. So what you do here is just slip this into the opening here for your camera and press it so that it is flat. This is lined in a soft material so that it's not going to scratch the back of your iPhone. And then you put your phone into the case. Once installed, you can see that we now have the lens adapter protruding from the back of the case. This is mildly irritating because you can no longer lay the phone flat on its back anymore with this installed, but of course, when you're not using it, you can remove it. In order to put one of the four optional lenses on, you simply just screw it into place and it's actually quite secure once it's screwed on. You don't need to worry about anything there. And the only tricky thing is getting the thing lined up properly. Then screw it into place and you are good to go. Lenses range from $25 to $60 and then of course you do have to pay the extra $4.99 for the little lens adapter thing as well. So just add $5 onto all of those prices. Overall just a really nice fun addition to this phone case system. Again, we've been looking at the Rhino Shield Solid Suit case system for iPhone 10. These cases are available directly from Rhino Shield and have a starting price of $29.99, which is for your basic plain colored cases, the white, the gray, and the black. To get something like this carbon fiber, you have to add another $5, so $34.99. The wood is $39.99, and so on. Many thanks to the kind folks at Rhino Shield for sending me out these samples to review. I will put links below where you can find out more about these products and if you have any questions about them, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my very best to address them. If you're interested in subscribing to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have lots more great case reviews for iPhone 10 yet to come. Again, this is Kristen and this is the Rhino Shield Solid Suitcase for iPhone 10. Have a fantastic day.